Greetings Builders, Daniel here and welcome to another exciting build review. For those who don't know, my build reviews show in just a couple of minutes all the information that you need to decide if this build for you or not. If this is meant to be the one, you can find links for POBs and complete guides in the video description. And if this video helps you, please, leave a thumbs up to support the channel. Thank you very much, happy holidays and let's get into it! Today's build is for the totem lovers out there. The Freezing Pulse Totem's Hierophant with the Templar class. Totem builds are the first choice for many players because you can clear a lot of the game's content with very low investment, and the gameplay is super easy. This build here is no different. We use the Freezing Pulse skill on many totems for a great clear speed and switch to Ice Spear on bosses for the incredible boss damage. To list the pros of this build, I would start with how cheap and easy it is. Totem builds are very safe because you just need to summon them and they will do all the hard work while you wait behind in safety. Because of that, totem builds are great to clear high tier content with low grade gear. Above all, with this build you can use Ice Spear totems for boss fights which grants a huge amount of single target damage. Now to list the cons, I start saying that since Freezing Pulse uses projectiles, obstacles can be a real pain for your clear speed, but everything will be ok if you keep repositioning your totems when needed. Another issue is that this build doesn't have access to evasion or spell suppression, but don't worry, as mentioned before, totem builds are very safe and if you mind your position, it will be hard for you to die. As for budget, you can get it destroying early endgame maps with only around 35 chaos. To comfort but advance to yellow maps, you need to invest around 90 chaos and for easily completing your atlas, I recommend investing around 3 divines, but you can totally do it with less. Don't forget that on POEBuilds.net you can find a list with all the equipment that you need to buy for this build, with direct links for examples being sold by other players. This build needs 3 mandatory unique items, but they are normally very cheap and easy to get. The first one is the Soul Mental Armor, that causes socketed gems to be supported by a level 20 spell totem. This grants us an extra support skill gem. We also need a Kikazaru Ring to counter the effect of curses. This is because of the side effect of Soul Mantle that will apply a random curse on you whenever a totem dies. Finally, we also need a Self-Flagellation Jewel that grants up to 20% increased damage for each curse on you. Thanks to Soul Mantle, you'll be always with around 9 curses, resulting on 180% increased damage. For clear speed, I'll give it 8 out of 10. You can summon 4 totems firing lots of freezing pulse projectiles with high cast speed. I just took 2 points out because you need to keep resummoning your totems all the time, and if they are behind any obstacles, the projectiles won't be able to hit enemies. The boss damage is incredible and deserves 10 out of 10. With this build, we can easily replace the freezing pulse with ice spears on big bosses for a lot more single target damage. For the survivability, I'll give it 9 out of 10. As a totem build, you always be far from action while your totems do all the work, so if you know how to mind your position, you can easily complete high tier maps with low grade gear. Above all, this build still counts with high armor and high block chance. And that's it for today guys, what did you think about those freezing pulse totems? Please take a second to tell me in the comments and leave a thumbs up to support the channel. I wish you guys amazing holidays and don't forget to keep building!